on that. But if the dude was bigger than you and he knocked him out, it's like, okay, baby, you gave up a good fight. Yeah. I ain't know you was going to die about this pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy versus everybody podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! The champ is here! What's up? It's episode 204. We got another Milwaukee. Do y'all call yourself Milwaukeeans? <laughs> eh, you can call us that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got another, you know what I'm saying, guest from Milwaukee. From uh, we, y'all know y'all saw her. Let me be. Y'all probably disliked her a little bit in that in that, in that series too. <laughs> uh-uh. But we got actress. We got Paris Davis in the building. What's good? Hey y'all. How you feel? I'm feeling pretty pretty good today. It's been a nice little day. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now before we get started with everything, um, we usually do a salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away before we give them their flowers. You know, what I'm saying instead of giving it to them while they can still receive it, but. It can't be an easy answer. It can't be mom, dad. It can't be your kids. I don't know if you got a dude. It can't be none of them. So mm-hmm. go ahead and give some flowers to somebody outside of those easy answers. Okay. I want to give my flowers to Crystal the Dow. For sure. For sure. Like she's been doing her big one lately, of course. So if I was to give my flowers to, you know, if it had to be one person, it would definitely be Crystal the Dow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. From Detroit, from Detroit. <laughs> yeah, was that an obvious answer? Do I gotta, I gotta No, no, that was a good one. That was a good okay. one. She she get a lot of love. She like I said before, she one of those two B actresses that if you know she in a movie, it's gonna be a good movie. Of course, of course. You know what I'm saying? But uh very nice working you? with it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how the year been besides the um, you know, the series coming out? Um, how the year been for you personally and year- in the actors world? Yeah, the year been great honestly it's been going pretty good it's been very exciting i've been having a lot of events that's been coming you know up and that i didn't did and it was very fun a lot yeah. of people been noticing me more you know i was up in all about a check and um i was up in a lot of other movies too but like you know it's starting to be a lot more you know i'm getting out there a lot more so yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah what about personally how it's been for you like you have you been like did you go into the new year with any goals that you needed to you know saying meet my goals was to really just open up a little bit more, you know, yeah. kind of put the shyness to the side and really put myself out there uh-huh. a lot more. So I've been doing pretty good with that. Now, the personal life, we ain't going to speak on. Y'all ain't going to be all up in my little crybaby business and stuff. For sure, no. <laughs> hey, you know, you know, I don't try to get too deep up in there, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, a yeah. little bit. You know, now I know you're you a mom and stuff like that. I seen you, you was, you know, with your, with, your, with your boy swimming and stuff like that in the pool. Tell me, how did you change? Like, what did motherhood change for you? Becoming a mother and, and beforehand, like, how did it change you? Um, it changed me up in a lot of ways. Honestly, I was, um, I can say, a little childish before I had my son. I was, you know, more yeah. playful and stuff. I'm still playful. I'm still childish, but it's more of a, you know, I got somebody looking under me, so I got to show more responsibility yeah. and standing on my priorities, you know, so it's been... Yeah, more of me having to like be strict with myself, you know. Yeah. It ain't really, yeah, just taking stuff more serious in life. Now you talking about childish back in the day, wasn't you in like a, a gang called Duh or some junk? What? <laughs> Where did you get that? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's funny as ever. Yes, that's um it was a little group that I had up in high school called Duh. What was I that? Said, like that was it was somebody you hoes or something. Uh <laughs> Yes, I remember that. It was with the two H's too. D U H H. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I had to do a little digging, and, you know, a little investigating. Like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I had to bring it up. Yeah, that's hilarious, actually. <laughs> was it anything that you went to this year? Like, I gotta let go. I can't bring this into the to the new year. Um, uh, it's kind of hard to say, but dragging yeah. people along with me. For sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had to let that go a lot. You know, I'll be willing to put my people on and bring them on set. And I've been putting them a lot up in my, um, in the industry, you know, with me. And sometimes that can get kind of messed up and bunched up and in the mix of a lot of stuff. So I've been working on kind of standing, you know, with my, standing myself, you know, doing stuff like kind of by myself without people. 
you think you can uh keep you think you can go far like that like by yourself or do you think eventually you're gonna need a team as far as like just to help you push you forward to new levels yeah village is always great i mean um swift motion pictures have actually been you know a great team for me like i love them they very supportive and you know it's a it's a couple of them. we got helena we got aaron we got swift of course and them alone, I mean, it's a lot more people that, you know, support system that come within them. But them alone is, like, a good village to have. And also Steve, too. Steve Love, which is It's Just Money Entertainment. Yeah. They, them are my, that's my team, if you ask me. And I think I yeah. do pretty good with them. When I yeah. be feeling, like, kind of um, not really motivated or, you know, down about stuff, I call them up and they uplift me. They tell me what to do, how to go about it. So I feel like yeah. it's, you know. I started with a good team. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now you said that earlier. You talk about you said you was a little shy. Is there anything else that you think that may be holding you back from getting somewhere? Because I know with me, I don't like to be out on the scene. It, people tell me all the time I need to show my face more, but I'll be at the crib, like, and that might be holding me back from getting my podcast where I wanted to be. So, is there anything that you feel that you need to change up that might hold you back in the future? That exactly, honestly, a lot of people be telling me I need to pop my stuff more yeah, and hell yeah. I need to get out there more. And they like, you up in this, you up in that, you need to be doing this and making reels and tapping into the internet. The internet has been a very hard deal for me because I'm not, I'm, I be on the internet, but I don't really like to, you know, put myself out there or make myself be seen. And you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not really center of attention, but I do yeah. get a lot of attention now. You know, you've been seen and stuff like that, you know, in the, in, the, in, the, in the movie world. Have anybody used the movies to try to get on you as far as, like, dudes, all your DMs and stuff like that? <laughs> yes. I also do, like, um, I have did reels and um, skits and stuff like that, and the skits have definitely took me there. I did a skit with um, Big Mike. He was, like, very good to work with. You know, it was fun working with him. But one particular skit was, like, I don't know if I should be talking on it, but I flew. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I can really talk. But yeah, I definitely had a lot of inboxes up in my um stuff saying like, why don't you fly me out? You know, they like fly me out and yeah. I ask you if you fly me out. So the DM's been crazy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I bet. I bet because I'm like, it got to be hard ignore for them DMs. Yeah, because it got to be hard for a lady, especially if you're attractive and you out here, you know, you don't know who real, who not, who trying to, you know what I'm saying, really work with you, who trying to work you out, you know who say you don't know who who out there for real. Right, that's true. Yeah. What's your day to day life away from uh away from this? Like what do you do for fun? You know what I'm saying? Just walk me down, you know what I'm saying, a day in your life. Family. I surround yeah. myself around family all the time. I be with my son, like you said, we go swimming. He yeah. my son is very like he liked to be active. So I take him skating, swimming. We done went um, bowling. He liked mm -hmm. to just be active. So that's, you know, mostly part of my life. And then I be with my mom. Yeah. So we either out shopping or at her at her house watching movies. Because that's like our favorite little thing to do. We sit back and watch movies yeah. and be chilling. Or I'm with my sisters. I have a lot of sisters. Uh, with my mom, only have me and my sister. But on mm -hmm. my dad's side, I have a lot of siblings. So I kind of oh. surround myself around family and do activities like that and stuff. Go out. How, and enjoy. About, how important is that 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 mother daughter bond? Because me and my wife was talking about that. Like, you know, mm. what I'm saying people take for granted. My mom passed away. My dad passed away. So it's like people take that stuff for granted. Like spending their time with your parents and stuff. So how important is that mother daughter bond for you? It's very important to me. Like it's one of the most things that I enjoy out of life. Honestly, you know, because it's just mm -hmm. your mama is gonna be real with you no matter what. Like she's gonna tell you the is and the not. You know what I'm saying? You can get yeah. most of your validations from you know your mom. So that's very important to me. I ain't gonna say that we don't be having our downs now. <laughs> no, for sure. me out. I'm like ah, send me home. Yeah, or she yeah, yeah. me out. You know, so yeah. it definitely ups and downs. But like you said, you you gotta value your mom because unfortunately. Yeah. You know, some people sure. don't. And is, is there anything that you understand now that you didn't understand when you was younger, like her getting on you or her, you know, saying tripping on you? Do you understand some of the things that she was trying to, you know, say express back then? Yes, I understand it all. Honestly, it's just yeah. the way she said she don't understand. Like you know me, I be having to bump my head sometimes. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. I'm a little hard head. 
So it's yeah. like, let me figure it out. I get what you're saying, and I get where you're saying that can go, but mm. I got my own vision on things sometimes, and sometimes they do go up in my, you know, the direction that I believe is going to go in. So, yeah, we be kind of having a hard time with her knowing that she's the mom and knowing that, you know, how stuff can go and me having my own vision. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yo, you got a son. How old's your son, if your mommy asked me? He's seven. All right, now I'm. It's you know I got I got two boys and I got a little girl, you know more so with the girl I think about her growing up, you know what I'm saying trying to protect her from these dudes and you know what to look for. So are you like thinking about that when your son grew up like what you gonna let him know to look for in a woman and and what to avoid and all that stuff? Yeah, I always um feel like I would tell him like to just don't be out here hurting females, you know. Like, yeah. if you really like a female, don't don't lead her, you know, wrong. You know, don't be trying to... If you don't like a female, don't lead her in the wrong direction. You know, sometimes being a friend with a female is better than leading around thinking that y'all, you know, in a relationship and stuff. Be her best friend if you like qualities about her and her mm -hmm. personality, but don't tell her that you go liking her. And you know how dudes be playing with these yeah. girls' heads when they can just be real. No, for sure. You know, so being real would just be the best thing when it comes to relationships with females. Yeah, because like I say, I got a daughter right now. She only three, but I'm thinking about when she be 13, 14, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, boy. I got me <laughs> on her head. Yeah, and this new generation is slick Rick. I can tell you that. <laughs> Man, I coach I coach basketball, so I know, like, the young girls, they liking girls that, they liking girls, they liking boys, they only like 11 years old. Like, bro, chill out. Man, they regular. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, not, as far as, like, sticking on life and stuff like that what's what's been the worst advice and best advice you received uh it could be being an actress a mother uh just whatever what's some advice you that stand out that was terrible and some advice that stood out that was good mm -hmm. um the the worst advice would probably be to um i actually can answer that within one answer the worst yeah. and the best advice i ever got was to just um don't think about stuff and just go for it yeah <laughs> You know how that can be kind of bad and good? It's just, I'm just yeah, going sure. for it. Sometimes they end up where it's like, because like I said, my shyness can get in the way of a lot of stuff. So yeah. I will kind of brush up to the side instead of me going for it and it end up turning out very good, you know? And yeah. then sometimes I go for stuff thinking I'm, you know, then got up in my head like, okay, I got this and I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to do it. Yeah. And it turns out like, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> no, Why, sure. why did I do that? So that would probably be the best and worst advice that I had got. Be mindful to what you, like, really stepping your foot in. Like, know yourself at the end of the day. Like, yeah. can I do that? You know, like, you you know yourself more than anybody. So before yeah. I do stuff, I just learned to, like, really think it out. Like, do I have the qualities to be able to really pull that off? You know? I gotta think yeah. about who I am before I do certain stuff. No, for sure, for sure. I think we go out and test that, just jump into some shit, then it worked. Yeah, damn, that worked. Or be like, damn, it didn't work. You know <laughs> Yeah, but like, it's all still good, you know. You still live and you learn. Yeah, hell way. yeah, hell yeah. What's your What's the first adult decision you made? Like, damn, I'm really grown out here. Uh, the first adult decision that I had to make, I would say, uh, let me think, let me think. Cause you you you're still young, you know. I, I know I'm old as hell, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm. I'm 27. I'm getting up there knocking on 30 like, hold the fuck up. But, um, Man. <laughs> yeah, my best adult stuff that I probably went through is, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, your first adult Just, um, like Yeah, like, being confident, honestly, it's been really kind of yeah. hard for me, you know, coming with confidence. I learned confidence will, um, actually, it will get you in a lot of doors, you know? Like, yeah. it's some stuff that you can't even do for real, but if you got confidence, a person gonna believe in you. So yeah, I just yeah. like to be confident in my adulthood with no matter what I do. Even for if sure, I can't do it, just believe that I'm doing all right. Yeah, hell yeah. Confident face with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm, I, I'm gonna ask you this. You know, some people answer, some people don't. Some people be too G to answer. When the last time you cried, it didn't have nothing to do with death, and what was the reason? Oh, the last time I cried, boy, that was like the day before <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a female, so I was going through my little female times of the month. Okay, okay. And I was reading my DMs, and everybody yeah. was telling me like how proud they was of me and stuff like that. 
Mm-hmm. And um, I had read a Pacific um, DM from like my sister on my dad's yeah. side. And she had inboxed me like, um, it was kind of, in my opinion, negative a little bit. And I just got the balling out crying. I was on the phone with yeah. my little man friend. And I got the balling out crying. Like, I read all these good inboxes and it took my sister to say something negative. Yeah. And he like, is you going through your men? <laughs> is you going through your, <laughs> your period time? I'm like, yeah, but that don't matter right now. It's just yeah. like, So you said you cried because your sister. So she said something like what? Is something about the movie that she didn't like her or what? No, it was just um personal things that's going okay. on with my siblings. You know, we all different people got our own different lives and yeah. It was just, yeah, regarding to our sisterhood. Okay, 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 okay. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna ask you about that. I don't want you on here crying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, it's cool now. At the, yeah. you know, after I got off the phone, I laughed about it. Like I was just crying about nothing. It wasn't that deep, but it was yeah. just I read all these good um DMs and it took for my family to like say something that throw me off. It's like, dang man, why do family gotta be like this? It's always the closest yeah. one that'll make you feel all these people made me feel good and it took you to kind of throw me off. So Yeah, yeah. But do y'all have like a good relationship like you and your sisters on your on your dad's side? Like is that is we that do. Cool? We, yeah, when we're good, we're great. Honestly, like we all got these bubbly personalities, even my dad. So we all like pretty humorous and mm. it'd be a fun time, like an excellent time when we when we with each other. But when we have our disagreements, and it's not even really me, honestly. Like yeah. I'm kinda I'm the baby girl out the yeah. out of everybody. Then I have like a brother that's the same age with me that's you know, okay. we a few months apart. Yeah. So we the two babies. So it don't be really me. It'd be kind of like my older sisters that be feuding and stuff. Yeah. And that kind of like hurt me because I'm like, if we all come together, we'll be something great. No, for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. What is it something that you wanted to be that you never told nobody? I wanted to be a rapper. <laughs> oh, sure. I know you got bars on that. Yes. Yeah, I got a little something up my sleeve coming, too. Oh, yeah. really? Yes, I promote this song called Ricardo Amore. And, uh-huh. I mean, not this song. I promote this liquor called Ricardo Amore. It's a new black-owned tequila made by Steve Love. Yeah. And I'm, I made a promotional song to that to kind of yeah. show y'all I got a little one-two skills up my sleeve, bars and oh, two. So, so is that something you want to do for real or is it just something you just mess around with? Um, it's something that I want to mess around with for real. I wouldn't yeah. say that I want to, you know, I just want to tap into it and see what happens. Yeah. What's what's the rap name? It's called Ricardo Amore. That, that, that's your, it's going to be a rap name? Oh, my name? rap name. My rap Yo. name is, um, my rap name is, I don't have a rap name yet. What is it going to be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Lord, now you got, now you going to have me thinking about a rap name. Hell yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah, might as well. So what, when we gonna be able to, can we hear this song? Like, it's something like this out? Yeah, I just recorded it up in the studio, so I'm gonna um, record the video Friday. Yeah. A video shoot coming up for it, then after that, I'm gonna put it out. It's gonna be to y'all pretty song. So so if everybody loving it, is you gonna put out a project if, if, the, if the response is good? Yes, I'm gonna go yeah. all the way with it. That's what's up. I'm just yeah. getting my feet up into different stuff just to see what it really, you know, catch the flow of things. For sure. Now, staying stay on music, if you had to describe yourself, but you can only use a song or an album to tell me who Paris is, what song or album would that be for you? Uh, <laughs> um, oh, that's a good question. Let me think. Um, I try, I try, I try. That, that, it would be... It could be at your point, like right now, it could be your childhood, it could be high school, like just a song that stand out, you know what I'm saying, during the point of your life. Bitch, we outside tonight. <laughs> Why y'all say so ugly, bitch? We outside tonight. Oh, that's you? <laughs> that's not me personally, but I just like that. It was the first song that I thought of, and I like watching baddies a lot, so I guess that's part of my look old personality from school and stuff like that. It's like, I'm outside. I'm a turn up queen, so. Now, uh, you said about your, your song and stuff, but talk about growing up. You kind of touched on it a little bit, you know what I'm saying, with your with your uh, mom and dad and stuff like that, but talk about growing up, who was in the household and what part of town you from? Yep, I'm, um, well, I grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, of course, and um, growing up was pretty cool. It was pretty decent. I um stayed with my mom and my sister and my um cousin, which was like my brother. He ended up passing away. 
and his sister, which is Chanel. His name was Ricky and my cousin Chanel, which is his sister. So it was <laughs> us four that stayed up in the house that my mom had raised. And it was pretty good. We stayed up in the projects when I was younger. And I ain't gonna lie, I feel like that was the best part of my life, uh, the best part of my childhood because a lot of kids stayed up in the projects and we was just around there running around being kids. You know, that was the fun times that like we run around and be a kid. We was just um doing all type of fun kid stuff. I feel like I had a great childhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't so really just, too bad. I wasn't bad of a child. I was really like a child when I was a child. Playing with Barbie dolls and jumping double dutch, playing cans. I don't know if y'all know about that. That might be a Milwaukee thing, but do you know about cans? Yeah, you got, I don't know what cans is. What's, what's that? Cans is when you take two cans and you smash them. Then you know like the concrete, it got the little um, squares on the concrete. Yeah. So on one line, you put a can on one line, you skip a line, then you put the can on the next line. And then you got to take a basketball and try to hit the other person can. Yeah. And if you hit the can, then you get one point. Whoever make it up to 10 points, you know, faster, then yeah. you win. Oh, it's no, like I never a fun little game. That's, yeah, I, see, we did something with the with the concrete, but we did a thing called like two square, where you kind of like hit the ball and they square. Something Similar like that. to that. Yeah, I never heard of cans before. <laughs> cans cracking. If I come down yeah. there to Detroit, we're going to have to get us a game in. For sure, <laughs> kids. <laughs> That's funny, but no, talk talk about that a little bit more because I know I got some uh, people down in Milwaukee, but I've been on there a couple of times. Uh, my uh, white side of the family, but talk about Milwaukee a little bit for those who don't know nothing about it. Milwaukee, pretty turned up. Honestly, is a fun place to come to. I mean, our people is you know pretty genuine. You know, mm-hmm. we get reckless than a mug too. Milwaukee is a reckless city, but who you know, it's a lot of reckless places. You know. But for the most part, we've been having a good light on our um over our city right now. We got JP that um sing Bad Bitty. Then we got Big Frank that sing um he got E Way and a lot of other songs. I'm not sure if you're familiar with JP and Big Frank, but they've been doing their thing so far. Okay. Um Kennedy, we have a um a female rapper named Kennedy. She been mm-hmm. doing her big one. We got hairstylists is here. Anything that you can name, Milwaukee pretty much got it here. We pretty talented. We got yeah, yeah, actors yeah. here. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. I see y'all, you know what <laughs> friends or whatever, whatever. So, uh, would be prior to that, I see you work with a lot of Detroit, um, Detroit people as far as uh, you know, in the acting world. Uh, would you hip to like Detroit music, Detroit movies and stuff before you got into the whole Tubi world? Of course. Yeah. Of course, Detroit been definitely doing a big one. Honestly, like um. Yeah, I know. I've been pretty on to y'all. The movies, of course. The music. Of course, the music. Like, y'all been hot with when it comes to music. And then the, y'all been um, doing pretty good with the movies lately. Very well. Y'all got the top Tubi actors there, so. <laughs> yeah, we, for, for the longest, I thought Tubi, I thought it was just a Detroit thing. I didn't even know other people had made movies outside of Detroit on Tubi, for real. Hey, man, Tubi been <laughs> Popping lately. I think we surpassed Netflix. I don't know if that was a rumor, but yeah. Yes. Now, I, ask, I ask everybody this do you get offended when they be like, oh, making the jokes about Tubi, like you a Tubi actor, actress, or that's a Tubi movie? You know what I'm saying? Do you get offended by no. that? No, I love it. I'm like, I'm showing sure them because them, ah, don't get me to talking. I'm like, we're more realistic, I say. When, when, when it comes to Tubi, we're telling like true life stories that people can actually relate to and it's more realistic, honestly. So I'm I'm proud to start off with Tubi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you know, some people be get everybody be like, oh yeah, they see so they see something crazy about oh, that's some Tubi shit, or you know what I'm saying? But yeah, be, we be watching the hell it's out hilarious. of Tubi. We be finding some good stuff on there for real, for real. Yeah. No, a lot of people um try to find the bad up in Tubi and stuff like that, but honestly. They can't help but to find the good in 2B2. Somebody going to find a movie on there that they relate to. No, for sure. <laughs> for sure. The only thing yeah. I say about the Tubi movies is those. sometimes those love scenes be seeming a little too real <laughs> and uh, too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they, they're making love. They ain't acting. They for real. <laughs> yeah, but um, most of it definitely be, well, in all of my situations, it's been fully fake, honestly. But it's you do have to get all close and personal when a little touch and do goes on, but as far as it like being inserting and stuff like that, no, it's never really real at all. Yeah. 
<laughs> but you do got to touch. Some people probably do get a little hot, you know, because you got to make it realistic. No, for sure, for sure. I know my producer, he couldn't be in them touching scenes. He be... <laughs> Hey, you said cut. <laughs> now, uh, at what point? At what point did um, did being an, a- an actress, you know, saying become something for you? Like, when did that become real that you wanted to, you know, pursue that? Um, I when I was younger, I actually wanted to be a, a um an actress, mm-hmm. but I never really thought it would have came about. You know, I kind of figured it was hard to be an actress. So I wanted to be a rapper or a singer or something, you know, go out the easy way. So I never really thought that I would end up in a position where it's like I'm really acting and stuff like that. So it came about mm-hmm. probably um, after All About a Check. You know, I did a few yeah. movies before then, but All About a Check was really the one where it's like, man, let me take this series. You know, it was my first leading, well, my second first leading role, but it was a big role for me, honestly. And mm-hmm. I got a lot of Recommend recommendation from it and stuff like that. So after that movie, I kind of really want to take it serious after that. Yeah, no, for sure. Is anybody that you look at that you like, like with, with me as a as a podcaster, I look at other podcasters that you know what I'm saying like, all right, I take a little bit of this, take a little bit of that. Or if you're a hooper, you look at different, you know, what I'm saying basketball players. Is anybody that you looking at like, all right, I could study you and you know, what I'm saying to become a better actress. Everybody, honestly, everybody that I work with. um I analyze the faces that they do. I analyze the way they move their arms, their hands. And it's just like the littlest things that you got to pay attention to that will make you a better actor, honestly. I um, I even study the way rappers do stuff, like up in their videos and the way they move and singers. You can learn a lot from different people. I went to acting classes and it was like voiceover people that was up in the acting classes with me. And it's like... Well, we got in common. You know, you don't even be seen. All you got to do is use your voice. But they said it's a certain way that you got to sit up sometimes, you know, to get that certain type of voice out. And so I definitely study different, you know, stuff, different things that people do. And I just insert it into my own craft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, think about your favorite movie. If you could sub in and take somebody's spot, what movie would that be? And who would you uh, sub in for? Like your favorite movie, like, like... I say, if I say Friday, I'll sub in for, you know what I'm saying, Smokey. Like, so yeah. who, your favorite movie, who would you want to sub in for in your favorite movie? Mm, in my favorite movie, I would want to sub for, oh, I never thought about that one. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> you might change um, it up. Would, turn them up a little bit, you know what I'm saying, make them a little tougher, you know, whatever you want to do to it, but you put your, your remix to this character. Yeah. Um, let me think. My favorite movie would probably be uh Oh, that's that's kind of a tough one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, let me think. I'm I would probably love to play the role of Gina in Martin. Oh, I got that I kinda look similar to her a little bit, so that's yeah. just kind of the first person that came to mind. And then it seemed like her role is kind of fun mm-hmm. and Working around that set is probably an uplifting set and stuff like that. So I'll probably just say Tina. Yeah, yeah, no, that's classic. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, your first role. What was the first role that really brought attention? To, you know, what I'm saying to you and um, and how did things change for you after that role? My first role was um that really brought awareness to me was all about a check one. Okay. Which was that was my first movie that I ever played in too. Mm-hmm. So um, I did a part up in Trust Nobody One where um, I was dancing on a guy up in a club yeah. and my boyfriend had ended up coming in and snatching me up off the dude. He got jumped real bad in the club and I was um, I felt bad. So I was picking him up, you know, like a girlfriend to do like, oh, baby, come on, let's get up. You OK? He's yeah. like, man, get the fuck up off of me. You yeah. know, he was kind of upset at me. So I'm like, you know, my bad, baby. I ain't know that you was going to die about this pussy. <laughs> and everybody just thought that so funny. They like, ah, she said he was going to die about the pussy. Yeah. So that kind of was one of my first scenes where it was like everybody was saying, like, when they see me, they'd be like, oh, I didn't know you was going to die about the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, fast forward, you know what I'm saying, let me be. Uh, I know um, Aaron had told me it was going to start off as a movie, but she broke it down to a series. Uh, you know what I'm saying, talk about that and talk about how you got the role, you know what I'm saying, as a Tristan, uh, new new girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was a crazy one. Cause like I said, I'm um I'm kind of bubbly and 
childish and you know I'm a nice person mm. so the fact that I had to get on camera and really like get in front of people and be this mean person it was kind of crazy for me like I had to kind of get serious before the scene even started it's like okay let me stop laughing so much let me stop cracking jokes I gotta be serious and mean to this nigga for this scene so that was kind of a challenge for me because you know I mean I know how girls be though so I know how you I know how bitterness feel because you know I didn't been in some situations where it was kind of like you know I, I got a baby daddy of my own so I know like you know it can be kind of tough and I know how girls feel so I just took that feeling and I just kind of reflected it on being a girlfriend and trying to stop a nigga from seeing his baby mama. I ain't never been like that, but I've been on the other side. And yeah. it's like, yeah, I tried to kind of imitate them type of girls, honestly. So you, so you been through a situation like that, like on the flip side where, you know what I'm saying? Not as bad. Not as bad. My my child's father pretty much, we, we had tough times for us. So I ain't going to say he know not to play with me, but not to that extent. Yeah, cause yeah, he know, yeah, yeah it's kind of get back time after that. You ain't finna be around here trolling. Yeah, but how do you feel like about a woman like that who like she will do? He got kids, but she like kind of like on some jealous shit. Don't want him to really be an active father like that for real. Don't want him to be around cause of, she might not like the kid's mom and shit like that. Yeah, no, that's that's kind of shy. That's terrible, honestly. Like I can never be that person. I'm not the type to. Even when me and my son, my son and father have our differences, it's like, you know, come get your kid, you know? This is still your child at the end of the day. So I'm definitely totally against keeping a child from their fathers and things like that, because a child shouldn't have to be raised by another man. Then they yeah. spar a sperm, you know, ain't nobody gonna teach you more than your parents. No, and ain't nobody gonna really, you know, it is some stand-up guys that can be a good stepfather to these children and stuff, but it's nothing like having your real parent love, honestly. Oh, no, so really? I, mean, I would never be that type to want to keep a kid away from they. And the girls that do do that, it's like very bitter, in my opinion. And they personally didn't have a lot of love or probably didn't have their parents in their life. So whereas like they would understand how it feels to be separated from your parents. or have a, you know, yeah. have to substitute, you know, them just bitter, hard life girls. Yeah, no, for sure. What's your advice to like a couple who, you know, saying they, they got a kid together or multiple kids? And, you know, their relationship don't work. What's your advice to them as far as, like, having a successful co-parenting relationship? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just don't let y'all differences get in the middle of y'all parenting, honestly, because it don't have nothing to do with that. Now, if the if one parent is, like, putting the child up in a bad position or harming the child or the living situation is not at its best, then, yeah, it might be sometimes it is good to kind of keep... Because not... It is some parents out there that kind of, you know, they not the best parents. And it's like, they shouldn't be having no kids. Yeah. You know, and stuff. So a child shouldn't have to look up to their parent being a bad role model. So so you might have to separate childs when it be that type of situation. No, but that's still kind of harsh because I just saw people grow up to love the worstest parents ever, you know, mm -hmm. because that's their parent. And the person yeah. still won't, you know, that type of relation, you know, or love. Yeah. Or connection with their parents so it's kind of hard to speak on that but just um yeah talk to the child let them you know have an understanding of what's going on let them know that it's not no hard feelings when it comes to the parents and stuff and just still compromise if it's compromisable yeah. work with the child and let them see the other parent and stuff like that it's it can be a lot more simple Hell yeah, hell yeah now let me be you know it's been out you know saying a little bit about what two weeks now or whatever uh, what do you see next? Like, is there any, any movies that's coming up? Is there any series that's coming up? What's next for you after this? You know, saying being a success on Tubi and stuff like that. Yeah, so we just finished um, All About a Check 2. Mm -hmm. That's going to be hitting y'all really soon. And then we have, um, I'm excited about that too. I know I had a crazy row, but I mess with that movie because it's yeah. real. So, yeah. yeah, All About a Check coming to y'all soon too, part two. And then we got Ocean View. And okay. Ocean View is going to be pretty funny, too. My role is kind of funny up in that, too. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what's, your, what's, what's your dream role? I want to play up in a scary movie. <laughs> that's, my, that's my dream. I want to be up in a scary movie. I want to go through, like, lights twitching. And I just want to be on that type of set where it's like, I want to see how that type of 
scenery is, a scary movie type of thing. I always said that. So when they give but you, I don't even like scary movies like that. Oh yeah, yeah. If yeah. put scary movies on, it'd be scary. Now nah, it'd just be it'd be some other shit. Right, right. But I want to be up on one of those. <laughs> Real scary movie, not too much of no nasty stuff going on where it's like we blood everywhere and you know where it just get disgusting type stuff. But I just want it to be scary for real, like ghosts coming and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know. How do you, how do you prepare for a role once you get a script or whatever, or you know you told about a movie? How do you prepare for it? I kind of just um a shot a day, keep the shyness away. <laughs> not- <laughs> I take I do kind of take me a little shot sometimes just to yeah. kind of loosen me up a little bit, and then um, sometimes I just the people around honestly I haven't worked with no bad crew you know they kind of prepare you they talk you through it and tell you like what they expecting out of this role, mm. and um, I just study the person like whatever role that I'm playing I just kind of put myself in that in that type of position how would I feel if I was that type of person like what would make that person I know how to see different perspectives in people like even if I don't agree with you I can see like why you feel that type of way if that makes sense yeah so I just kind of put myself up in those people's shoes like maybe they had a bad life so they bitter about people that had a good life or they bitter about certain stuff that normally another person to be happy about why is they not happy about it you know and I just put myself up in that type of situation like maybe if I did go through this I would feel a way about mm-hmm. you know what I'm doing or stuff like that it's is about it, seeing stuff from a different perspective yeah is like, it who refuse to play uh dumb. I was being in a casket yeah. One, yeah, that's a little too tough for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said you ain't, you ain't, about, you ain't about to do that, huh? Yeah, I ain't, it's been a, nah, that's kind of tough. Yeah. I get pretty freaked out about that one. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what was that movie that just came out when my man, they took, they took the body out the casket and said, take uh, that, that new shit with um, Making Good? Making Good, Making Good. What, where was it at? It's, it was, it uh, just came out? Yeah, yeah, but anyway, I know the beginning of the movie, uh, it was it was a crazy movie because my man, her boyfriend was like some crazy dude, or whatever, who tried to get divorced from her, but was like still terrorizing her, still thinking that she wasn't supposed to do nothing. I just know the beginning of the movie. I guess one of his brothers had died, and then the mom was crazy ass like get him out the casket, and they took him out the casket and shit. Uh, it was so okay. crazy. I just thought about that when you said casket. Okay, and, yeah, that's that's pretty funny. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if it's supposed to be funny, but when you just said it, it was kind of funny. No, it was- <laughs> You know, Ty Prey movie, so you know it got a little funny to it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what, what's some now? As anybody, this like young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through. What's some something that you believed in as a young 17, 18 year old that you look back on now? Like I was tripping. Yeah, so seventeen or eighteen. Yeah, something you believed in that you was being just, tough. You yeah. know, like mm-hmm. being tough. That was probably a, a thing back then, where it's like you got to show them you the big bad wolf and. No, I I totally against that now. Like you gotta step on my shoes, you gotta do something because I am pretty tough. I'm my daddy's daughter now. Yeah. But I don't have to show that. Like it's it's better stuff in life and you don't want that type of light on you where it's like you um always in drama or you got like this bad cloud over your shoulders, everybody like you. Like, no, I want people to like me. Like I wanna <laughs> I don't care if they, like, if you don't like me, then that's just your own personal issues. Because I'm a good person. So I try to give, I try not to give people a reason not to like me. Now, if they do it on their own, that's just you. But other than that, yeah, the tough role is kind of like, nah. Because people ain't going to want to deal with that. Like, you just walking around mugging everybody, you're like, nah. (laughs) Have a good personality. Show your personality. Like, I'm not afraid to really show people. Yeah. I got personality. I can be a good person. You can come and talk up to me. I crack a joke. You crack a joke with me. Yeah. So being t- being that tough person is something that I gave up. What not? Uh, we we talked about Milwaukee a little bit earlier. You talked about the can the can game. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, what's some what's some Milwaukee lingo that's only used in Milwaukee? Like like for us, like you know, with Detroit, when we say "what up, though," with D O E. Mm-hmm. Right there, whatever though, what's good, my babies, you know, stuff like that. What's some lingo that y'all got that 
only used in Milwaukee, if y'all got any. Yeah, we got kind of like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. We kind of like cut off words, like half, and put our own little end into it. Like we say, broke arsh, nigga, and cheap arsh, <laughs> nigga, shit like that. Then we say, um, what's another one that we have? We got bitty, bad bitty, which means like a bad female. Yeah. Like a, a cute female, like dang, she a, that's a bad bitty right there. Yeah. So we got bad bitty. Um, those the first ones that I can think them the main ones when it comes to Milwaukee, broke eyes, cheap ass, and bitty. Yeah, because it's funny because when I was in Texas, I remember um, I said something, but like a stow, like a busto, you know, a busto is a chick that you know, a busto. Oh, yeah, me and my boy he ran stows on her, so basically, we ran train on her. Yeah, bust down. So they call it, we call it a bus stow, like a like a store bus stow. Bus stow. Oh wow. She <laughs> like, busting well, she, out the band though. Yeah, she a little she a little stow over there. We you know ran through and just like that. So it'd be funny just oh, hear go because I know um in Texas they call like chicks like she so she for everybody that's a bop, she a bop, you know what I'm saying? So, right, right. Yeah, I just wanted to see if y'all had some Milwaukee uh slang that we don't know anything about. Um, do y'all say that? I'm pretty well, yep. They okay. got that, yeah. Well, yeah, that's universal. They thoughts here or a bus, yeah, yeah, no matter where you are. I don't know, we probably don't, yeah. Um, I don't really know, I ain't really got up into that. Like, yeah, I'm probably still up in the the old days when it comes to the the yeah. Jayers, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now. Making the band, you know, Diddy had the show Making the Band back in the day. If you had a Making the Band cast, you and four other people to make your perfect movie, your dream movie, who are those other four people you would be working with? Four people, so, um, yeah, of you course. And, you and four other people. Okay, I'll say, um, Crystal the Dollar, of course, I'm pretty sure you know I was going to say that. Um, Makivia, and then I'll do Camille. And I want to do another guy, Camille. And oh, I did not forget his name. <laughs> Wait, please. Um, Camille and um, McKee, your boyfriend. Why did I forget his name? Uh, uh the dude with the dreads, yeah. Well, he's like King something, or yeah. I know you're talking about though. I forgot his name, too. okay? Yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody else knows what I'm talking about, too. I didn't have a brain fart like. I hope he don't get on me about that. But, yeah, because I know his name. I'm pretty sure everybody else do, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know our producer here. Uh, he, he a goddamn uh, uh, 2B expert. He know all the 2B actors, actresses, everything. So, I know he know. But, uh, so, yeah. you said, now, what about, all right, outside of that, you and four other people, but mainstream. So, you know, your mainstream um, everyday actors. So, who, who are those four people you want to work with? Um... You said my oh, like mainstream. I would want to work with um. Oh, let me think. I will want to work with. I want to work with um Story Reed. Do you know who that is? No, no, no. Who she from the movie Missing, and okay. me personally, I say that me and her have some resemblance. So okay. I always wanted to play like her sister up in a movie, Story yeah. Reed, sister. So okay. that's one person. Um, then I would like to work with um, Taraji P. Henson, of course. Okay. I would love to work with her. Um, oh. And then I would want to work with uh, do, 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 do. Main Scrimp, Kevin Hart. A right. funny movie. I just, you know. And then Tyler. Look, Tyler. Monique, Monique, I had to think about what Monique, no, I just went. But Tyler Perry, of course. Everybody want to work. When it comes to movie, everybody want to work with Tyler Perry. I was just trying to think of some out of the obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is and I get with Tyler Perry, we in there. For sure, for sure. <laughs> just don't let him put it on no bad, no bad wig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? That's why I'm like, top, top, nigga yeah. Tyler Perry, fuck it. <laughs> what, what would you do differently with your start, you know, with your approach to being an actress? Like, what would you do different, if anything? I will, um... I will um, shoot, put myself out there a little bit more. Like, really show people my personality. Stop kind of, like, locking up when it comes to, you know, having to speak with people. When I see certain people that I know that I can, it'll be a good connection with being able to put myself, selling myself. 
that's basically to some of the learning how to sell sell myself. I've been having a hard time with that. It's like, you know, if you fuck with me, fuck with me. You know, but it I don't be having the words to really tell them to prove myself to them. So I've been working on really finding good qualities in myself that will stand out to other people and being able to stand, I mean, speak strongly on myself. Is is any is any other podcast down there that you can uh, tap into, like you know, what I'm saying to get with, or have you been on any, any other podcast? Um, my homeboy Wani, he's from um Bank Boys from Milwaukee. Okay. He just opened like a little podcast, so I'm I'm ready to work with him. You know, that's gonna be a new nice podcast to work with. Then we also have um, we also have uh, well, oh Lord Jesus, these people are gonna get me for forgetting their name. <laughs> I but he be saying podcast. like um he be saying um say boss yeah. Lord Jesus what is his name we ain't it's a lot of Milwaukee podcasts that I'm willing to work with yeah yeah this ain't your first one is it you've been on one no. before no I've been in about three of them before okay okay see yeah we, now when you come to Detroit you gotta come to the you know where we do it in house in the studio oh yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm gonna have to come down there and really hey, do an in person interview, actually. Yeah, ain't, ain't, we ain't too far. We ain't too far. Well, it's like a what? Six hour drive? About, about four or five hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your advice? Nothing. What's your advice to somebody who wanna start, you know, saying who wanna start in the film business, but you know, saying too too afraid? Yeah, hey, go for them extra roles for real. When they call for them extra roles, just get yourself into the door, get up in them extra roles and Play the shit out of them, for real, for yeah. real. Show them that you got, you know, even though it's a little role, take it serious. Yeah. And anything that you do, if you want to be an actor, whatever acting that you got, even if you play in the background, yeah. take that serious. We back there taking you a shot. What do people do that's up in the background of stuff that's going on? Yeah. Everything that you do when it comes to that type of stuff, take it serious. No, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. What, what's a uh, short term, long term? Where you see yourself 10 years from now, where you see yourself in a year? Yeah, okay, in a year I see myself um, getting doors opening for me, you know, putting myself out there and getting these doors to open and just trying to really step my feet into some stuff. So I, that's about a year I see myself working on that. In about 10 years, that's a long time now. I don't know. <laughs> I might be rapping. I might be... I'm, Pretty sure I'm gonna be still acting. I'm gonna keep on trying to keep that going, and I try not to look too far up in the future because I don't want to disappoint myself. So uh -huh. I just, yeah, I try to live up in the near future and work on the things that I can work on and see where that takes me. Yeah, we like still when got... I get to thinking far as like you got to try to do certain stuff to really make an to make it to that accomplishment. I don't want to stretch yeah. myself out trying to make it to something. I that just makes... do what I do and see what happens. Yeah, it makes sense. You be like, yeah, in five years, I'm going to be this way. Five years coming, you still ain't there. Like, dang. Yeah, now I'm just stressed out. Like, damn, I'm looking all bad. I told everybody I'm going to be doing this. <laughs> nah, you, we yeah, just yeah. going to see where I'm at up in yeah. the time. That's like the niggas will be in jail. Like, yeah, when I get home, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. <laughs> yeah, get <laughs> home and go right hey. back. Like, nigga. <laughs> yeah, that's like the, the niggas. My, my cousin did that job. So the girl a dream all in jail. Like, yeah, when I get home, I'm marry you. Got oh. home and the nigga got the mess with <laughs> yeah, them jail card uh, things to get to you. I'll be looking at my homegirls like, boy, yo, he said what? Man. All right, now. <laughs> I, say, I say, I know you ain't had no, you ain't had no jail friend, did you? Like, yo, you was good. They'll make I a promise. Do. Woo, I don't do the jail call. I don't do that. I Man, I hope I don't go to jail because I ain't going to have nobody to answer my calls. Girl. I'm like... <laughs> Yeah. I'm a bad jail pal, honestly. Just because I have a lot going on, you know, in my life personally, I don't like to talk on the phone. I don't like to text. I don't like to. It's like linked up. Get up with me. Yeah. yeah so it'd be yeah. kind of hard to tell the people in jail that I don't be knowing what to say. It's like, what you doing? Yeah. I be talking regular, like, yeah, well, all right. So what you finna be doing today? And it's like, what could they be doing today? No, for sure. So yeah. I'm not really a, a jail interest, <laughs> interested person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now towards the end, we do this thing called "What's Worse." So I give you two things. You tell me which one of the two is is the worst. Yeah. So, okay. What's, what's worse? Uh, dying from getting shot or dying from getting stabbed? <laughs> from getting stabbed. 
Of course. Uh, of course. No car, nice crib, but nice car, no crib. No car, nice crib. No yeah. crib. Oh, okay. Um, a home. Yeah. Having a house would be always the best option. To have somewhere to go that you can, you know, separate yourself from pe people, getting out of other people's space. Having a house. Yeah. A car, you can always call a ride or you better put your pride yeah. to the side and catch a transit. You know, there's ways to get around. For sure, for sure. Now, it's kind of funny. What's worse, being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with tall legs? <laughs> oh, my God. A tall nigga with short arms. Yeah. Or a, or short, a short nigga with, with long arms. No, tall legs. Oh, or a short nigga with a short nigga with tall legs. Oh, this part little, but then his legs long as hell. Uh, um, probably the short arms. Yeah, you gotta yeah. defend yourself. <laughs> oh shit! What's worse? Now you got kids. What's worse? Not having money for a birthday or not having money on Christmas? Birthdays. Anybody say that? Yeah, because um, hey, birthday you can. A, a kid don't always value their birthday. They, you know, they gonna remember that. But Christmas is pretty important too. But. I don't know. That might be kind of tough because everybody getting gifts. It's like, where mine's at? Yeah. See, well, it depends on your birthday. If your birthday is summertime, you can make some shit and go out to the park free. Yeah, that's exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you yeah. can make a birthday. So Christmas be pretty tough. All right. Now, what's worse? Losing losing your man to your homegirl or losing your man to your ex? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Losing it to my ex is crazy. Real crazy. Yeah, that's what? <laughs> Y'all didn't play the fool over my head. No, the ex is crazy. The ex tried to get back here too on some crazy shit. <laughs> Whoa. Man, that's crazy. All right, what's worse? Find out your parents aren't your real parents or find out your kids are adopted. I mean your your siblings are adopted. <laughs> Uh, mom, mom, oh Lord. Oh shit. You're gonna be getting me beat up. Now my mom and my sister go, one gonna be on this side, one gonna be on, like so you would have got rid of me, huh? <laughs> um, I say finding out that my mom will be kind of crazy. Cause then that's like my whole family. It's like yeah. I ain't related to none of y'all. <laughs> so, all right, we got two more, two more. What's worth finding out your your mate cheated through text or in action? Through action, yeah. Cause nigga, yeah. What the well, fuck see, are you doing? You gonna take your whole body over there? Let me now, ask you this: fingers, you know, you might wanna, you might get bored, might wanna text somebody back here and there. You're still gonna get beat up, but dang, you just Let all in you. with. When you when you find out your person is cheating through action, is there a position that's more? That's, that's, that's more like, damn, you really don't give a fuck about me. Because my thing is, if I walk... <laughs> this is crazy, but if you walk in, your girl getting smashed, you know, doggy style, I was like, damn. <laughs> damn, it's that's like, what's up. Is the position that's the worst, or is this all the same? Uh, The position is definitely worse, because when you just said dark, doggy style, I pictured it like, damn, she getting cracked. Yeah. For, no. <laughs> but just doing it all in all would be pretty hurtful, too. Walking in yeah. and seeing that, you know... Somebody yeah, taking you, over what you thought was yours. Yeah, because if you find out your girl, you know, and she cheating, and you walk in and they missionary, then that means they in love, because, you know, that's some that's some face-to-face. -face, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you right. Right, y'all yeah. all intimate and shit. Nigga, get the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. All right, last one. What's worse, running from a fight or getting knocked out? I, I want to say running, but then again, yeah. it's better it's better to say, there they go, than there they lay. Yeah. Exactly. Being knocked out is crazy, too, but at least you put up a fight. Are you mad if you with your dude and he protected you? Because say somebody called you out your name, another dude, and my man check him, and then he knock your man out. Is you like, damn, I can't be with this dude anymore? Cause he... <laughs> oh, what, though? <laughs> yeah. That's a bad situation because you got. Like I said, right, being knocked out is crazy. I don't want to have to wake my man up now. 
<laughs> ah, nigga. Hey, it, 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 I, I still, it depends on how we go, though. Honestly, yeah. it depends on... Um, I probably would. I don't know. Like, if the guy was bigger than him, now if the dude was smaller than him and you just let this little nigga knock you the fuck out like that, it's like, we ain't gonna be doing that. But if the dude was bigger than you and he knocked him out, it's like, okay, baby, you gave up a good fight. Yeah. I ain't know you was gonna die about this pussy. Yeah. <laughs> they got knocked out over there, mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take it back to my movie roles. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. Is there anything that you want to leave the people with? Any motivational words? Anything encouraging that you want to leave people with? Y'all better stop saying I look like Shamar because um his body can... No, just not, just not, just not. Oh, oh shit. I, no. <laughs> Shamar, I love Shamar, honestly. He is very um hilarious to me that everybody's saying I'm looking like him. And he actually responded to it, too. He was watching the movie like, I look at my twin. So shout out to him for that. Now, to leave them with... um. So you said something to leave the people with, right? Just keep on supporting me. I really appreciate the support. I appreciate everybody that reached out to me because it's a lot of people that I can't really get to or respond to all the time or I might miss a DM here and there. I just want to tell everybody that I appreciate the support. I see y'all and keep supporting me because I'm going to put on for y'all like y'all put on for me. I never forget the people that, you know, was yeah. there when shit just started. Yeah, I'm about to say, y'all, you almost gave us two views, two views. Hey, now we about to be check you out on Tubi trying to get that little love scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. More coming. For sure, for sure, for sure. Like I said, I appreciate you coming on. Let the people know where they can follow you on Instagram and all that good stuff. Y'all can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is called KingQueen2K16. Um, my TikTok is the same thing. And that's the only thing that I'm... um willing to promote when it comes to social media. I have a Facebook, but... Yeah, it's personal. That's just something that I play on. That's more personal. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to follow you on TikTok. I, I need to use my TikTok more. I don't be on there enough, but I need to be on there, I guess. Yeah, that's the same thing with me. I've been working on trying to get my TikTok stuff up, trying to do a little more content on there. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And like I said, if you come to Detroit or we come to Milwaukee, we definitely got to link up and do an episode in person. Yeah, definitely do an episode, you know, show them what the cans is about. But yeah. your little tail feather or something. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, these showers, everybody, episode 204. You know what I'm saying? We got Paris in the building. Make sure y'all go watch Let Me Be. And uh, they ain't really how she is in real life, y'all. She a real cool person, you know what I'm saying? Man, thank you for telling them that. Abs on deck, you know what I'm saying? I got work on mine. I got good. You see me, I'm trying to, I'm like, how am I sitting up right? My stomach get a little, hold on now. <laughs> I get right. I got to do some push-ups and some sit-ups while I do that. <laughs> I definitely need some sit-ups, man. It's getting rough. I didn't miss the summer. I'm going to have to try next year. Hey, everybody, everybody try to get summer body, then you be like, fuck it. I'll wait till the wintertime. Yeah, yeah. Catch me in 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I appreciate you coming on. We out.